7.4 number 9. We're going to do three different problems that have different denominators. Either two or three. Depends if I can fit three into one video clip. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so with different denominators, just like with arithmetic, where we have no variables, we first have to find a common denominator if we're adding or subtracting. So that's going to be our first step. Rewrite the fractions using the common denominator. And then after that, we go right to the same steps we did in the previous video clip. We add or subtract the numerators, keep the common denominator, and put the final answer in lowest terms. Lowest terms, again, can mean factor and cancel. So first, we've got to think about the LCD. So for this problem, the LCD is going to be 5 times 3, or 15. So now we want to rewrite, and that gives us so to turn the 5 into a 15, I'd have to multiply by 3, do the same to the top, times 5 over here gives us 15, do the same to the top. So we have 3z over 15 plus 5 over 15. And now we can go right across and add the numerators, 3z plus 5 all over 15, and then we would try to do lowest terms. So there's no combining like terms, there's no factoring we can do, and there's no canceling we can do because we can only cancel things that are common factors, which means that we'd have to be able to factor this expression in order to do any canceling. So it is not okay to hop in here and cancel a 5 from each of these because this 5 is not a factor on top. It's a separate term. It's being added or subtracted. So that means if we can't do any factoring, we can't cancel, and that means we're done. So that's the answer for number 9. And let's look at number 12. Again, we have different denominators, so our first step is going to be figure out the LCD. And to build the LCD, remember from section 7.3, um, first, we take the entire first denominator, and we're going to multiply that by anything in the next denominator that is not already over here. So the next denominator has a 4 and an x. Well, the x is already there, but the 4 isn't, so we're going to put the 4 there. So that means our LCD is 20x. So the LCD should contain each denominator completely without having any extra um, factors in there. All right, that means our next step is going to be turn the fractions into new fractions with a common denominator of 20x. So the 5x, we would need to multiply by 4, do the same to the top. And the 4x, we would need to multiply by 5, do the same to the top. So that gives us 4 times x plus 3 over 20x plus 5, and the entire numerator is being multiplied by the 5, and that's why I'm putting parentheses. So 5 times 4x plus 8 over 20x. And now we can go ahead and add across the top and keep the denominator. So we get 4 times x plus 3 plus 5, 4x plus 8, all over the common denominator. And now we want to put it in lowest terms. So we need to simplify it first, clear parentheses, combine like terms, then factor, and then we can cancel. So first clearing parentheses, 4x plus 12 plus 20x plus 40 all over 20x. And now we want to combine like terms. So we have a 4x and a 20x, that gives us 24x. 12 and 40 plus 52 all over 20x. And then we want to factor. So what I would do is start dividing 24 and 52, try dividing by 2, by 4. Um, just see what kind of what works. Grab out your calculator and start doing trial and error. And you'll see that they both divide by 4. And if I pull out the 4, I get 6x plus 13 
and that's all over 20x. And now because this has been pulled out as a factor, it is okay for us to do some canceling here. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So our final answer will be 6x plus 13 over 5x. And remember, we cannot cancel the x's here because one of them, this guy, is not a factor on the top. It is a separate term because of the addition sign there. That means we're done with that one. And I think we have room for one more. So